Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Monday, coming at you with a big one here. 2023, Tops Update Baseball Jumbo, doubleheader, pick your team, number two, with two MLB playoff spots being given away at the end of this break. We'll do that at the end along with a autograph and other notable card recap right there. So, settle in folks. And away we go here on a Monday, the 16th already, or the middle of the month already, crazy. But here we are, pick your team two. Dustin ended up with, uh, I think, triple last spot mojo. Picked up the last three teams, Reds, Brewers, and Pirates. So thank you, Dustin. Thank you, everybody, for joining in and getting in on the action. Appreciate you. All right, so now we've got one jumbo case right there, the other jumbo case right over here. Should take me a couple hours or so. Check out the schedule to see when the other stuff is coming up. It looks like Houston is is threatening here. They they got a homer just a moment ago to cut the deficit down to one run. But they're running out of outs. I think they're in the eighth inning, something like that. They're trying to tie the series up. And Nolan Arenado, a little box topper, a little oversized card. The silver packs I'll do at the end of the box. Yeah, it was Jordan Alvarez, just a, a playoff monster. Now they've got a runner on. Astros have a runner on first. Two outs, bottom of the eighth. Who thinks the Astros pull it off in this game? I actually had a small investment on the Astros going into it, along with the over. So I'd like both of those plays to happen. What do I have for uh, tonight? I think I'm on the Phillies tonight. Yeah, I've got a small half unit play on the Astros, minus 119. They can still pull it off. And I've got a full unit on the over eight and a half, which thanks to Jordan Alvarez, that has hit. Got a small half unit play on the Phillies, minus 160. And then I've got the under on that game, under seven and a half runs, a full unit on that. And I'm on, I'm on the slots, the small road favorite with the Cowboys tonight. Minus one and a half. They're in. They're in LA tonight. Here's our first Nolan Jones. And we've got some card. There's the gold foil Tom Murphy, and a numbered card Josh Young. Thirty-one out of one ninety-nine for the Rangers. That's going to be for Walter and the Rangers. has the Rockies. Tristan has the Rocks. And then eventually we'll do, uh, I guess we'll use this, I mean, I know they're the same team, but we'll do left-right randomizer because I know there's also some other two-player cards as well. Rangers get out of the inning, but the Astros scratch one back.
And I would imagine that the other game will start starts at 5.07 LA time, 8.07 East Coast time. Diamondbacks are in Philadelphia. Mariah's gold foil and Teoscar Hernandez to 300. That'll be for Seattle. That's going to go to Tony. And there's a, I'm sure there's a good chance that I'm going to miss some of the key players that we're looking for, but don't worry, all card ship. Or at least those rookie cards. All cards do ship, right? Yes, all cards ship. But what we won't miss, I mean, if any of these guys are numbered, then that, that's definitely what we're looking for. There's Jesse Chavez, silver, and we've got a Dominic Smith green to 499. That is for the Nats, Dustin, with the Nationals. Sometimes you'll see that in blue, and that it's not numbered, but it is a parallel. Patrick Corbin, Julio Rodriguez, and that top black gold, which I think looks really cool. All the Zach Nettles will go to the Angels. Tristan has the Halos. Kyle Muller, and an Adley Rushman and an autograph. So the Rushman is to 2023. Nice rookie debut card for the O's. That'll be for Kevin. And the autograph is Logan Allen, rookie auto for the Guardians. Mark. Cleveland, this is for you. There you go. How many autos are in here per box? One auto and two relic cards per box on average is the deal. There you go, Eric. Congrats. We've got a veteran combos, Correa and Miranda to 2023, and the relic is Roy Campanella. 80 out of 199. I like those manufactured memorabilia. I think still look pretty cool. Now, I don't think I've played a single inning of uh, MLB The Show, Eric. Is is it difficult to throw a no hitter? Or is it, an e I mean, judging from your reaction, it sounds like it is not an easy task. And you put 11 runs, 14 hits along, but that's good. It makes the pitcher comfortable, if they can be more aggressive. So there's time-spanning tandems right there. And our second relic is Rafael Devers. Red Sox relic going to Dustin. It's to 199. It's very difficult to throw an hitter. It's only your third one since the game came out.
Yeah, are there different difficulty level? What difficulty level are you playing at? And there's Cole Reagans to 2023 for the Rangers. We're trying to hang on to a dub here, potential dub. And they've got a runner on second at the top of the ninth with no outs. Juan Yepes, Gold, and Brett Beatty Action Stars to 299. That, that looks pretty cool with the, the text in black right there. It looks really sharp. That'll be for James and the Mets. Got Trey Turner, Black Gold. We'll see him in action a little bit later tonight. Another Julian. All those Julians will go to Kevin and the Twins. Brandon Drury, Silver, and a Caleb Hamilton to 499. That will be for Dustin and Boston. I think I've heard some people say that the these ace cards can now you can now find them numbered and potentially autographed. So that'd be something to look out for. Gotcha. You play on veteran mode. What are the different? What are the different tiers of of difficulty? So I get an idea of where veteran lands on all that. Here's a Pete Alon. Oh, you know what? Speaking of silver packs, hang on. Let's pop that back up there. Let's see the silver packs from box one. Now there's also numbered and uh, autograph possibilities in here as well. Like that gold Conseco, five out of 50. There's a Matt McLean there as well. All right. Next up, we'll put those silver packs right there. Grizz, what's going on? Evan Carter, who's been hot in the postseason, is now up with two outs. Top of the ninth, runner on third now, looking to get some insurance runs. They're only up by one. And Evan Carter dribbles it to first. Foul? I think it's foul. Goes rookie veteran, so second one up. But, uh, all right. Hey, no hitter's a no hitter. Whether it's in real life or in MLB The Show. It might mean, or maybe you go up a level now. Sam Hilliard, Silver. We got a Hyunjin Ru to 2023 for the Blue Jays. It's going to go to Eddie. And Jeremy Pena in the World Series trophy right there. Or a hunk of metal, as Rob Manfred once referred to it as.
you know, that, that's better for your no-hitter percentage. No-hitters per times played, or divided by times played. I have to watch out for anything that has a slightly different picture. That might be a super short print, which will, or we can just look for that gold foil right there, but usually a different picture will generally give that away. Julian and a Zach Neto. Rookie, tops black gold, nice. We still got two and two to Evan Carter here. Ooh, count is full, three and two to Evan Carter. Two outs, top of the ninth, runner on third, Rangers up by one, Rangers trying to add some more runs here. Joe Mantiply. And then we've got Jonathan Loisica for the Yankees. And it's a grounder to second, over to first. There you go. Astros don't give up any more runs. They're setting up a, a tie or a walk-off situation. Loise will go to the Yankees. That's going to go to Matt Smith. Got Yuri Perez. Blue, different, not numbered though. Oh yeah, fun times. Uh, who do you have tonight in the NFL matchup tonight, Michael? The girls. Ah, I do too, minus two and a half. What? Just kidding, minus one and a half, sorry. Yeah. Although it doesn't really matter, as long as it's not over three. You got fleeced, bro. No, I got minus one and a half. Is that minus 111 maybe, 109? Something somewhere around there. Solano to 2023, Bryce Miller and Mason Miller, Bryce's brother. Is it actually? No, I have no idea. At some point on the timeline, they might, they might have had some relations. That's for the A's, Eric with a C with that one. And then the Bryce Miller will go to Tony and the M's. Oh, you got 59 home runs with Yoan Mankata, I just noticed that. Yoan, real life Yoan Mankata would love those numbers. There's another one of the Miller brothers right there, Bobby. Elvis Andrews gold, Tatis Jr. black gold card. Garcia, gold, and then we've got Major League Material, Wander Franco. Stephen Carney with the Rays. All right, different Eric, it was Eric with a C. Eric M with a C had the A's. 
Eric with a K is throwing no hitters in the show. And it'll be the show. <laughs> All right, well, the Astros are going to try to tie it, at least tie it, or walk it off. We've got Brad Hand to 2023 for the Rocks. Got a Gold Rushman and a Derek Jeter to 299. Nice. Matt Smith with the Yankees. That's a cool one. 19 out of 299. Kevin Thompson has the Orioles. There's laid out Ronald Acuna Jr. And Jeremy Pena. Oh, just maybe four feet away from a home run. But just an easy warning track catch. There's a Matt McLean for the Reds. That'll be for Dustin. Another Matt McLean Silver this time. And Eric Hosmer, 2023. That's for the Cubs. That'll be for Rex. But the Matt McLean Silver. Nice. Something a little different here. This is the kind of stuff we want to see. The key rookies that we're looking at in their parallel form. Some sort of parallel form. What a, that's a great defensive play. Is that Josh Young? Yeah, I think it's Josh, Josh Young with a great play at third. Dives to his left. Throws a strike-ish to the first baseman. Now it's two away. Here's Adam Wainwright. Wayno to 150. I think he might be on the call tonight on TVS. Box three of this first of two cases. First of all, the Julio Rodriguez. A couple silver packs. And we got two outs. Altuve up to bat, two and O the count to Altuve. Altuve not working with no help this time. Takes a low strike, two and one. Three and one. it up and game over wow Rangers with a 2 nothing lead they take two away from the Astros in Houston 
And the Rangers look, look kind of scary. game is on TBS. And then the Monday Night Football game. We've got uh, Counting Down on ESPN. I could flip back between both of those. And let's flip back to this one. We've got Danny Mendick and Kyle Lewis with that vintage back, 48 out of 99. That'll be for Jake and the Snakes. Another Matt McLean. Got a Riley Green red to 199. Travis with the Tigers. There's another Matt McLean for the Reds. It's for Dustin. And we got a Brent Rooker. Event worn memorabilia. Some sort of all star festivity there. Nice. That goes to uh, the A's. That'll be for Eric. Stephen A going with a casual uh, sweater on set today. Kind of like that look. It's Ben Joyce to 2023 for the Halos. It's another one for Tristan. And Edward Julian. But sometimes the pattern is Edward Julian is followed by Zach Nito. Oscar Colas, black gold. All right, Eric. Do you think? We got Loisaga Silver, Michael Fulmer to 2023, and a Nick Prado autograph. Royals, Dan Green with KC. Yeah, the black gold cards look really sharp. in that 1988 design. Speaking of 1988, I'm pretty sure that today is the anniversary of the Kirk Gibson home run the, in the 88 World Series. Game one of the World Series back when you know, the playoffs have changed considerably since then, right? I think back then was just just AL East and West, right? And then NL East and West? 
and the winners of the East and West go straight to a seven game CS, which goes straight into the World Series right after that. And then we got Mark Melanson to 2023. And the big relic is uh, Willie Mays featuring the 1954 World Series. New York baseball giants going to Dan and the Giants. We'll go Dan back to back. Ooh, we got a heavy lumber card coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Those are quite rare, from my understanding. It's Jared Kalanick Gold. How rare? How rare is it? Uh, let's see if the checklist will reveal. It's limited to 500 copies per card. One out of every 1,009 hobby packs. And there's only 20 cards. So that's pretty cool. Maybe a little more common than I thought, but, but shorter printed. It's Heavy Lumber, Josh Young. Woo! For the Rangers, Walter with the Texas Rangers, making the, uh, he made the final play today. He's got a nice bat, got a good glove. Nice rookie heavy lumber. Congrats. We got more Major League material here. Bobby Witt Jr., piece of the lumber. It's gonna to go to Dan in Kansas City. Nolan Jones. It'll be for Tristan and the Rockies. Esteban Floreal and to 2023, Jake Bird. Put a bird on it, going to Tristan and the Rocks. Sam Bachman, Paul Goldschmidt in that black gold design. JP France and JP Sears. 299. Back to back JPs. Got a Zach Nito here. Silver packs. These top promo cards out of the way. All right, got some orange in there. And it's orange Jose Abreu. 15 out of 25, nice. Got a Zach Nito in there as well for the Angels, Tristan. And the Jose Abreu will be for Jared and the Astros. 
25. All right, halfway through. About another 30, 35 minutes to go, and then another case to go. Add the Rushman, Silver Packs, and the Main Pack. Last night, ladies and gentlemen, we encountered some breaking news. Um, pharmacy chain Rite Aid files for bankruptcy amid declining sales and opioid lawsuits. Major pharmacies, this is according to an NPR report, a major U.S. pharmacy chain Rite Aid said Sunday that it has filed for bankruptcy as a team. $3.45 billion in fresh financing as it carries out a restructuring plan while coping with falling sales and opioid-related lawsuits. In 2022, they settled up for $30 million to resolve lawsuits alleging pharmacies contributed to an oversupply of prescription opioids, has received agreement with creditors on financial restructuring, blah, 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 blah. So... I think the most important thing out of here, obviously, is what happens to thrifty ice cream. Well, we'll see. I mean, I don't know. I think it's major corporation bankruptcies operate a little differently, right? They, don't, they could be, I don't know if that means their doors are shuttering immediately. You know, stores aren't closing tomorrow. Do they get, to, to CVS buy them out? Walgreens, maybe. There's AJ Puck to 300. Which are the advent on the back, the text, the back of the baseball card's a little different. I think the talks more about advanced stats here, which is also fun. Gonzalez Gold, Zach Nito for the Angels, Edward Julian for the Twins. And we got Alexis Diaz, blue. Not numbered, still a good looking parallel though. Got a out of four ninety nine Christopher Morel Green for Rex and the Cubs. There's a Julian right there as well.
Michael Garcia, Francisco Alvarez, black gold. And Tanner Beebe for the Guardians and a James Altman autograph. Nice. Altman had a really nice year. Ike Apollo with the Dodgers. Had a solid season in his rookie campaign. Hopefully keeps evolving from there. And we got a Jake Alou to 299. Orange for the Nats. That'll be for Dustin. Dust in the wind. We got your 1948 NL Most Valuable Player, Stan Musial, 48 out of 75. Stan the Man going to Angel and the Cardinals. Got a Matt McLean for the Reds. Edward Julian for the Twins. He had a solid season too, and a nice little postseason as well for the Twins. Braxton Garrett, and we've got Michael Bush for Coppola and the Dodgers. It's to 199. And another Dodger, Will Smith. fragile in there. There's Elia Hernandez, 2023 for the Rangers. Yeah. Monday Night Football crew is picking their... Ramon, who do you have in this game tonight? Who thinks going to win? Uh, it should be a close one. Yeah, the spread's only one and a half, so yeah, I Vegas is going to be close too. Yeah, I think close too. After last week? Right. Getting, getting punked by your team. <laughs> it was nice to see that. Yeah. <laughs> well, most of the, three of the five Monday night guys picked uh, the, the Cowboys. A couple Chargers picks in there, so we'll see what happens. Dermis Garcia, got a Gunnar Henderson black gold. I think it looks pretty cool. Jordan Lyles and we've got Leota Tavares. 2023 with the Rangers taking a two nothing lead over series lead over the uh, Astros Walter with Texas uh, 
ready? Oh, a little pregame. Fisticuffs. Ooh, these teams are fired up. All right, silver pack cards. We got a Babe Ruth. That's pretty cool. Babe Blue from Matt and the Yankees. 92 out of 150. So it's kind of trippy. You're thinking Babe Ruth, but then you got the 1988 design here in 2023. So traveling through space and time here, ladies and gentlemen. Nice, we got a Corbin Carroll up there. A couple silver packs over there. And the main packs right here. Hiding in here as well. Dominic Smith didn't want to leave. to show oh yeah that highlight was good all right away we go with another box good luck everybody Devin Williams and a Michael Harris the second to 75. Nice tops black gold card and numbered. Chris Parent with the Braves. Nice rookie card. It's numbered 60 out of 75. Sharp, real sharp. Got a Zach Nito. Trevor Steffen to 300 for Cleveland. Another Zach Nito. Neto? Nito? I think it was, I don't know, Zach Nito is in the chat. Definitely let us know how we pronounce that. Mark has the uh, Guardians, gets the card out of 300. We've 
we've got uh, some Royals here. Sal Perez, Bobby Wood Jr. to 2023 for Dan and KC. Francisco Alvarez, gold foil, another Michael Harris, that's just the base version. He's foot to baseball before NFL starts. Oliver, what's going on? So hard to watch baseball since the Dodgers are out. A little bit. But I'm trying to, I mean, if you have investments on, uh, on teams. And look at this. Just as Corbin Carroll is warming up in the batter's box at the top of the Diamondbacks lineup, here they are. Action stars, rookie auto, Corbin Carroll. Most likely your uh, NL Rookie of the Year, Jake Kirby with the Diamondbacks. I mean, if you're gonna beat my Dodgers, Corbin, you better, have a, you better have a hot NLCS to make it good for the hobby. That's the only silver lining for me now. 12 out of 25, number two. So don't mess it up, Corbin Carroll and the other rookies on that team. And Zach Wheeler blows a 96 mile per hour high fastball right through Corbin Carroll's swing. We're underway. Oh, and that's a bloop single for Corbin Carroll. There he is. He's one for one in the NLCS, his first NLCS. There's Francisco Alvarez to 2023. He'll probably get some, uh, some votes as well for NL Rookie of the Year. Steve Garvey, 1981 World Series. The uh, classic one against the Yankees. The Dodgers lost to the Yankees in the World Series in 1978. In the late 70s, 77, 78, somewhere around there. And I see what you just said. Nice time to and get that then, one. Um, oh, yeah. I didn't know those could be audited. Oh, yeah. These are so cool. It's 25. Ooh. Just leads off the LCS. Yeah, the we, we, yeah one, one for one. That car just went up uh, by A probably, million. <laughs> probably by 2%. Every, every play that happens, too, if he gets to second base, that card's up another percent. If he scores a run, that card's up another percent. I, I, I mean, I, that's what it should be. That's yeah, my... Uh, none, none that I remember, Rex. None yet. None yet. You got this bad boy right here. Don't forget. But, yeah, they, yeah I, haven't, I haven't forgotten. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. No problem, John. That's why appreciate, I'm here. appreciate it. That's why I'm here. And then we got another Corbin Carroll, Major League Material. Not numbered, but a piece of his jersey. Oh, Oliver, you have some investments in Corey Seeger? Uh, how so? Like, uh, as in, do you, you have a proposition on his performance in today's game or tomorrow's game? Or maybe hobby-wise? Corbin Carroll stolen base. That's probably another percent, plus one percent in value.
And there's Nolan Gorman to 2023. That is for Angel and the Cardinals. There's a Matt McLean for the Reds. Got a Nolan Jones. Oh, nice. Oliver's got a proposition. Someone has proposed to him. Will Corey Seager win the World Series? World Series MVP. And a super short print. Sam Haggerty. You can see the SSP right there and the gold foil on the tops right there. Nice one for Seattle. That will be for Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. Nice. And there's Freddie Freeman right there. And Oliver put Corey Seager's 1 out of 10 Immaculate Rookie Auto on the secondary market. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I do too. There's Sam Bachman to 299. Bachman, Turner Overdrive going to Tristan and the Angels. Yeah, I think Oliver, looking back, I mean, obviously the Dodgers can't sign everybody, although they, they should have, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think, I think that, that one might be the, the miss. I don't know. It seems like Corey Seager does have that sort of rise to the occasion type of type of vibe to him. Hmm. No parallels in any of these. Usually you throw in at least a color in there. I think we did. I mean, there were some injuries there. I think there's also some quiet playoff performances there as well, but I think he was young enough to, you know, to maybe grow into a different shape. That roll, I don't know, yeah. You know, I didn't, I don't mind missing out on a, don't, don't mind not paying Machado. I don't mind not paying, you know, Bellinger, for example. I don't mind losing out on Trey Turner. You know, were we ever in on Bryce Harper? That I don't know. I'm trying to think of other recent big free agents. No, don't mind not having Xander. But it, you know, when you home grow a superstar, you know, I feel like, or a soon to be superstar, a burgeoning superstar, if you will. I feel like he kind of had to pay him. Kind of had to keep him. Wish we did. Yeah. Trading for Soto didn't miss that either. 
didn't didn't really need that. I, I suppose the Trey Turner thing is a bit of a bummer because uh, maybe it would have been nice to have a Josiah Gray or a Kiebert Ruiz, you know what I mean? All right, last box of the first case. Another case coming up right after this. You know, or maybe they could have been used for a different trade or something like that. Here's Michael Waka 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 to 499 for the Padres. Michael. We got Ted Williams. I don't think Carlos Correa is ever going to come here, although I feel like that this Dodgers team does does feel like they need like a fiery guy like Correa. Maybe Soto's the answer. If the Dodgers if the Dodgers don't I don't know what's going to happen with the Otani situation, his free agency, but maybe if he does not sign with the Dodgers, maybe the Dodgers will most likely pivot to maybe landing Juan Soto in the free agent market at the end of next season, I want to say. There's Mookie Betts. Yeah. Well, if you think about it, some of the guys and I were talking about this at the shop. You know, the, the rotation that we expected to be in the playoffs this year, like let's say we were talking last year or a year and a half ago, it would be like, oh, our rotation's set. You know, we got Tony Gonsolin looking like all-star, looking like an all-star. You got Trevor Bauer. You got a crafty lefty in Kershaw. Walker Bueller, Julio Urias. That's supposed to be the rotation, right? So think about, I guess you would put, Kershaw would probably start game one, right? Bauer would probably start, Bueller would start game two, Bauer would start game three. There's Mason Miller 2023. Julio Urias game four. You know, Tony Gonsolin in long relief. It sounds like a much better rotation than what the Dodgers threw out this playoffs. All right, Dustin May. How, how could I forget about Dustin May? Right, so. So, yeah, I mean, when you think of it like that, you're like, man. Then you, then you mix in guys like Bobby Miller and Pepio and Grove and stuff like that. Then you're like, then you're talking about an incredibly deep, incredibly deep rotation. But but that's baseball. Injuries happen. Other things happen. Just didn't work out. Just retool and get after it again. There's Jose Azokar to 4.99 and Ezekiel Tovar, rookie auto for the Rocks. That's going to be for Tristan. I think he had a pretty nice season as well. Wow. Kyle Schwarber puts one in the seats. Just ambush Zach Gallen. Man, that, that stadium's gonna be fired up now. I mean, they're already fired up, but to start the game like that, first pitch, first swing, home run. Philly's up one nothing. Boom. Have you opened any of those Bowman Chrome Mega Boxes? I have. What's the base pack thing that people are telling me? Who's that thing I'm telling you? Like Michael was saying, um, it might be better if we just like Oh, the base card pack sealed. Because it's it's like, it, it's like this. It's like it's like the main packs, and then there are the mega, the Mojo refractors are in separate, separate packs, and really the the box itself. I it's don't all know. base. It's it's all base and rookies. So there was a suggestion made by someone, maybe just open up just the silver packs, right? Super box silver packs. Something like that, and then evenly distribute the base packs to everybody. 
I don't know how many, I don't know if that math works out. Yeah, I just don't know, but like, people would understand that. Yeah, and I don't know. Yeah, I might just keep doing it the way I do. People, people might be like, well, what's those packs? Or, or maybe there's rookies that I want, that I want yeah, to collect, exactly. and, you know? So I don't get any of my Corbin Carrolls. I right. you know someone gets Arizona. Yeah, and do you it's get, like, does the Diamondbacks get more packs than the Phillies who are cheaper, you know? Correct, why then? Harper. You would have to, wow, back-to-back -back home runs. Bryce Harper. I mean, the Dodgers could have done this same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid yeah, Diamondbacks. The Dodgers would have lost to the Phillies. Yeah, the same way. I, yeah. We could lose the same way. Yeah. Why the Diamondbacks have to beat us? Um, I think the only way that would work, I guess, if it be if it was like a random team break, so all the prices are even. But then at that point, yeah, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Is this, did, did he say it's Harper's birthday? Oh man, I should have done a DraftKings showdown lineup and put Bryce Harper in the captain's spot. It's Kyle Tucker, Major League Material. Piece of his lumber going to the Strohs. That'll be for Jared. Birthday Bryce Harper, what a shot. Two batters, two solo shots. Alex, call me maybe to 2023. I mean, Zach Gallon looking more like Lance Lynn out there. This crowd is fired up. You're giving now. You're giving them some more, more fire. Ooh, look at this! All aces, different color here to two ninety nine. Andy Pettit, Matt with the Yankees. Zach Allen looking pint sized here. A <laughs> Philly fan wanted that. They, they wanted Alec Bohm solo shot. Oliver, we were talking the other day, a missed opportunity for Zach Gallen. Um, he should add a K to his name. So that way, in Diamondbacks home games, the, the fans in the stands could put down Ks for his starts. They could put a Z, A, C, and then Ks. It's just bad, bad branding by Zach Gallen and his parents. Come on, Mr. and Mrs. Gallon. All right, last little bit here. All right, Nate, what's going on? The status of Select Picker Team 2. Are you, 
It's been sold out for a couple of days. Are you waiting for a case to be delivered? No, we have all the cases here, Nate. There's probably a filler attached to it where we uh, give away the remaining teams in that break. So always look out for those. When something's sold out, and if you're like, why is, why is that not, not on the schedule? Why is it not breaking? That's the reason why. I'll drop the schedule for everybody in the chat as well. If you click that link, that shortened URL should take you to our page. And you'll see those, you'll see those get, see it added to the schedule whenever that, um, whenever something sells out. But if you go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, I'm sure there'll be like a pack or something like that that says, sells out, you know, pick your team two or something like that in the title. You'll click that and then you can buy a spot and you can try to win your way into it or win another team into it. But wait, there's more, second case. And in fact, per the schedule, I believe we do have time to do that tonight. Although I only see one order coming in from Justin, who got two in the autograph jersey break. So nothing sold out after this, or there are things sold after this, but after all that, nothing sold out towards the end of the evening. All right, so let's pop this open and work on another one of these. Yeah, no worries, Nate. Hopefully, hopefully tonight, I mean, someone check the site and tell me how many spots are left in that filler. Can't imagine it's super pricey, relatively speaking. And we've, and I think per the schedule, we should have time to do that tonight as well. Listen, we've, we've got another hour to go in this break. So oh, here's the topper right there. There's Gunnar Henderson. So plenty of time to go to the website, especially if you're not in this break. Grab a spot or two and help push that along. That select break, which is also going to be probably an hour long, but compared to this, we'll feel a lot shorter. 14 left, that's we're pretty close. We got five people to grab a spot each, that gets us into single digits. And then when people catch, and single digits always catch the eye of people when they're on the website, that could get it to the final four spots pretty quickly with another five people. Next thing you know, we're adding that to the schedule later tonight. So if you want to get that going, ladies and gentlemen, grab a spot or two, let, let me know and let people know in the chat and try to try to move that move that break along. Generate a little momentum for it. We can get it on the schedule tonight. Yeah, it's, that case has been marinating in, in the back, Nate and everybody else. It's been marinating. Who knows what hits? Now we don't want to over marinate. If it over if the select case over ripens, that's not good. Over marinated, too strong. You know, it just ruins it. But we should pop that baby open tonight. All right, we've got a Perez, and then we've got a Trey Turner. Yeah, there might be, yeah, there you go. You know, some Rockies cards in there that were maybe out of 25, have maybe marinated and turned into out of 10s. Maybe some out of 10s turned into out of 5s. Maybe some out of fives turns into one of ones. It's been marinating, marinating nicely. Now 
And there's Gavin Stone and a Tanner BB. Cleveland, this is for you. It's gonna go to Mark as the Guardians. Yeah, that's what we try to do. We gotta stay positive in these group breaks. With Gavin Stone, nice one for the Dodgers to 4.99. You know, it's more often than not that's what happens. And people are like, man. Why didn't we break this case earlier? This was amazing. So hopefully we can say that with that select case tonight. You're like, what took so long? And then we have a Oswald Peraza to 199. That's going to go to the Yankees. That will be for Matt. Now, it looks like the, I think the prism, or the uh, select filler, that is, we're giving away nine teams in there, which means nine, ten teams in there? Let's say it's ten teams, I think somewhere around there. There's Bryce Miller to 2023. That means there's 20 people who bought spots straight up. Now, if half of those people got a spot each, you know, in that select filler, we'd be done, we'd be full. So if you already have a team, consider grabbing a spot in the select baseball filler just to help it move along. And you may stumble into another team and get some big hits out of there. Uh, Cal Ripken Jr. MVP medallion going to Kevin and the Orioles. So it's just a suggestion there. So check it out, ladies and gentlemen, jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's Adley Rushman, black gold for the Orioles, Kevin. We got a Nolan Jones right up on top. I'm going to find some numbered cards of his, or maybe. Auto, something like that. Let's see something substantial. That's going to go to Tristan in the Rockies. There's a Julian. Alvarado and a Garrett Acton to 2023. Oh, that's Nolan Gorman. I thought that might have been Matt McLean who was wearing a similar hat in the picture. Bryce Harper, happy birthday Bryce Harper. Edward Julian, more Edward Julians. Kevin with the twins, we're looking for something substantial there too. Something numbered, low numbered, auto, something like that. Super short print, something or other. Got James Paxson's 2023 for the Red Sox. Uh, 
get the horse to McDonald's for many, many, many years. So like he's at the drive Haggerty, and we got a Juan Yepes to 300, and we got a Gunnar Henderson rookie relic for Kevin and the O's. That's another home run off Zach Gal, another solo shot. That's Nick Castellanos. We've got a Yuri Perez, and we've got a Garrett Hill to 2023. Oh, what did Peyton Manning have this? What was, what was Peyton Manning pitching? On the uh, Smartless podcast. Phillies minus one and a half? Like, you're gonna do that right now? Oh, you have it right now. At what? Did you get plus money for it? Did I? Yeah, I think I like plus 120, plus one something. Nice, run mine, look at you. My money was scared, so I put it on minus 160. There's an Edward Julian in that Mojo Refractor design. I like it. Mookie Betts, and Silver Pat, time of his career, Cell Acting Life. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, from what I have read, is that uh, his father, Archie May, never really pushed football in any of this. Any of the kids. Patrick Corbin to 2023. And some Edward Julian. Thank you. 
You know, I'm not even I'm not even conscious of what stack I start with, KT. Yeah, Cassianos on fire as well. And there's a Volpe to 299 and a Relic that's uh, Jeremy Pena. So the Volpe going to Matt Smith and the Yankees. And Jeremy Pena with the Astros. That's going to go to, um, it'll be for Jared. That's to 199. Michael Waka 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 to 299. Then we've got Stan the Man Musial to 199. Cardinals. Angel with the Redbirds. St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah, and that's right, Justin Castellanos on fire. I mean, the Phillies team. Just seems like they're going on fire. They are on, they are on fire. And there is Jose Urania. 91 out of 300. That will be for Dustin and the Nats. got an autograph here. Let's show that first. That's Matthew Libertor for the Cardinals. On hell with that one. And then the uh, the Brewer Hicklin Green will go to Dan Green to 499 little customer color match there for you Dan. If Dan ever gets the uh, the Tigers, and then we get a green, Riley Green, green. I don't know what, I think the world may melt down. That might be the secret combination for the world melting down. Joey Ortiz, gold. Juan Soto, black gold. Julian, rookie debut. Caleb Hamilton to 2023 for Boston. That's for Dustin. Got a Nolan Jones for the Rocks.
We had a Corbin Carroll auto earlier, and here's a, uh, a very patriotic Corbin Carroll right here. 40 out of 76. That is for Jake and the Diamondbacks. That's your uh, NL Rookie of the Year, right? I think there's, I think he's gonna be a runaway favorite for that. Christian Bentoncourt for the Rays to 2023. Is that a short print? Or, not sure. But just in case. Kevin and the Orioles with that one. Silver pack. I feel like that Gunnar Henderson picture looks different. And there's a purple Aaron Judge. Three out of 75 for Matt Smith and the Yankees. All right, yep, another one. We're getting there though. We're getting there. Got about another 35, 40 minutes to go after, or from here, from now. Silver packs, we'll save those up there. I suppose I could flip to that while the baseball's on commercials. Anything exciting happening in Monday Night Football? No, that's on commercial too. That's the worst. by Marriott, the official hotel of the NFL. People are watching the game in the hotel. Is that, is that what they're telling me to do? It seems like at the hotel bar where people gather. Interesting. And we've got a Winton Bernard to 2023. That's for Eddie and the Blue Jays. Special look at what? At halftime. Oh yeah, Disney. I think today also might be the day Disney was was officially invented. A um, hundred years ago. Oh, games tied seven seven. And the Chargers are starting at their their own two.
Has anyone been watching this game? Anyone have a scoring update for me? What, what happened here? How did we get these touchdowns? Got a Kyle Lewis for the Diamondbacks to 2023. <laughs> Oh, no one's watching the Monday Night Football game. And the action stars, Juan Soto. Nice, that's numbered as well to 299. I could look it up really quick. No one's watching the NFL game. I guess it is a baseball break. No one's watching, watching baseball. Let's see. We got a... Chargers got on the board first with a... Uh, Keenan Allen. One-yard touchdown, then the extra point, and then Dak Prescott. 18-yard rush. And Dak Prescott rushing in for a touchdown that tied it up 7 7. It's veteran combos right here to 499. That's where that left right randomizer will happen. And there's Ted Williams, your 1949 most valuable player. Red Sox, Dustin. There's Juan then to 499 and a Bobby Miller autograph. Nice. I Capola with my Dodgers. Gets the uh, gets the future ace. You know, it could be a world in which uh, what it's Walker Bueller, Bobby Miller, Ace one A and one B. I mean that'd be pretty That'd be, that's kind of set the top of the rotation for a little bit. Oh, I guess that wasn't a short print. That's the actual picture. Got a Jonathan Hernandez to 300 for the Rangers. That's going to go to Walter in Texas. Zach Nito, Julian. Bobby Miller and a Patrick Bailey to 2023. I guess this is the this is the catcher for the Giants, right? 
And I think maybe they had hoped that Joey Bart would take the mantle. <coughs> Justin Herbert on the move. And, huh. He threw off the back of one of his linemen's no. We got a, a cowboy swatted the ball, swatted Justin Herbert's pass down and fell back into his arms and he had a nice little run after that. Got Bo Bichette. That's actually the blue parallel of that. And then we got Anthony Rizzo, Major League Material from Matt and the Yankees. there, Justin. Justin Herbert running around. Ooh, a little helmet to helmet action there. Silver packs. We got blue Emmanuel Valdez to 50. That's for Boston, that'll be for Dustin. And then another three boxes to go. This is about another 30 minutes. We're at the 145 mark on the clock. So I guess this is gonna take me a little over two hours. We're running behind schedule a little bit, but we'll uh, I think I'll adjust that schedule right now.
Got an Edward Julian, the old 80s, late 80s design. The Patrick Corbin of 2023 goes to Dustin. Another Nolan Jones for Tristan and the Rocks. Have a blessed night. All right, thank you, Teddy. See ya. It's Ali Rushman Blue. Right. What? Oh. That's not for me. Sorry, Ben. All right, Julian for the twins. That's for Kevin. And the blue Adley Rushman. Not numbered, but cool looking for Kevin. And the Orioles. Colby Allard. Cody Bolton to 4.99, and your 84 most valuable player, Rhino Ryan Sandberg to 1.99 for the Cubos. That's for Rex. And we got a John Brebia to 72. That's for the Giants, that'll be for Dan. Call Me Maybe to 2023 for the Nats, Dustin. And then Tyler Nevin to 2023, and a Joey Weimer. Rookie autograph for the Brew Crew. That's for Dustin, one of the Last Spot Mojo teams. One of his three Last Spot Mojo teams. Last Spot Mojo, 70% of the time, hits 100% of the time. Jan, what's up? Have I read about the Texas Better Business Bureau and Panini where complaints filed by people didn't get cards from them? I did not. I'm sure the, uh, the Better Business Bureau, which of course has so much power, will we'll, surely will get those redemptions to those people right away, right? With the enforcement power that they have. Spencer Turnbull, and we got a Mookie Betts All-Star Relic for the Dodgers. I Capola with the Dodgers.
is Michael Waka to 2023 and a Jersey autograph, Grayson Rodriguez. Kevin with that one. You don't see too many of these. Nice uh, RPA, rookie jersey and autograph, major league material, number to 50, 15 out of 50. Nice. The return guy got popped. People are saying they lost anywhere from fifteen hundred to $20,000 on cars you're supposed to get. Oh, well, yeah, I don't mean, I don't, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see if I put my, my for entertainment purposes only lawyer hat on. Could have been a world in, in an alternate universe I might have been an attorney. Um, like, what if, I mean, I don't know. It's one thing if, if they can prove that Panini received those cards and then just sat on them, then that's one thing. You know, I think the, the complainants, as you were on Alvarez, the complainers definitely have a case there, but what if, you know, Panini could easily turn around and be like, you know what? We're on yours. We're with you because we've had contracts signed with the players who have refused to sign their cards. We haven't gotten them back from them. I mean, that could be their argument. And then what? Now what? Will the Better Business Bureau then, with their, with their immense enf enforcement powers, then go run down a bunch of uh, athletes and say, "Hey, sign your cards." I thought that was num numbered or something like that. Silver packs. All right, yeah, people could have gone to the National to get replacements of the Redemptions, but you know, I suppose that's an unfair out-of-pocket expense to 50. And I suppose Panini could also argue, hey, you can get replacements for these. You know, if you didn't want to wait. So, it's a nice effort. I don't know how far these, how far people are going to get with the Better Business Bureau. I mean, they might have a better chance with a class action lawsuit or something like that, but I don't know how that stuff works. If anyone, if anyone's gonna take take the case on those class action lawsuits, that's the other thing. All right, second to last box of the entire break, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not used to these long breaks. I'll be honest with you, I am dragging a little bit as I get approach hour two of this break. Almost there. So we'll see what happens with, with Panini, I'm sure. I'm sure they'll, try, they'll have some sort of response to something like that. You have had too many tickets merged Merge or like support tickets? Merge and sent to the replacement team for redemptions for 2018, but they told you they you know they were backed up. And when did they tell you? 
We're backed up because of COVID in 2020. Yeah, that, I mean, that has disrupted a lot of, uh, it's dis definitely disrupted a lot of business, of course. So I see businesses where you need to be in the office, hands on, and be sending out stuff. There's Dominic Fletcher and Nick Prado autograph behind him for the Royals. Dan with Kansas City. And I think there has been com compounding the issues these days is that, you know, after Fanatics swiped the licenses from under them, I think they've had, they've had some people, uh, I don't know how many, but there, there's obviously been people jumping ship a little bit. Let's see, let's see what Diamondbacks at Phillies is going, what's happening there, no commercial. The sooner the whole, all, all the Panini fanatic stuff gets resolved, I think the better for everybody. There's Garrett Stubbs to 2023 for the Fightin' Phils. WWE and NFL stop signing redemption this year's products. I think initially yes, but I, I'm, I'm not sure what the latest is on that. Because I thought maybe, I'd have to go and look back at all the statements, but I, th I thought Panini had stated that, that all those redemptions would be fulfilled. I don't know, this is, I feel like, I feel like we've been going back and forth on that, so I, I honestly don't know. I have to look into that a little bit more. There's Brent Doyle to 72 for the Rockies. I mean, that's that's why like I hope whatever happens, we get some kind of clarity resolution, just so we know what's going on. So we're are they? Aren't they? Will they? Won't they? When will they? How will they? Will that be because of the, what will be because of the stickers that they use? Sticker autos that they use? Oh, you think they'll fulfill the redemptions with sticker autos? Is that what you're suggesting? And there's a Kyle Muller to 2023. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to handle that. Usually, redemptions are redemptions because they're they should be on card autos. But if they don't have any stickers remaining of a particular player, then I I don't know. They'll either have to get more. When will they get more? I don't know. Pete Fairbanks to 2023 for the Rays. And there's Albert Pujols. The young Albert Pujols, 2009 Albert Pujols. Cardinals, Angel. We've got some major league material. That's Vlad Guerrero Jr. Yeah, I think for, for now, it seems like a wait and see on redemptions.
We got Michael Bush, gold. Action Stars, blue, Gunnar Henderson for Kevin. And the Orioles, we got Nolan Gorman. Jay-Z's at the game. Cowboys Chargers. There's LeBron, the Cowboys Chargers game. Kicking back, having a good time. And Yuri Perez, rookie green to 499 for Dustin and the Marlins. Hey, is, tell me if this is fair, all right? Me and Rowan will make it nah. If the Niners don't make the playoffs, no, if the, if the Niners do make the playoffs, uh -huh. I give him 10 bucks. If they don't make the playoffs, he gives me 1,000. Yeah. That's I a mean, fair bet, right? Well, that's that's how the books would do it. It's a free $10. Right, because, because it's like, I mean, if they, like Niners not to make playoffs is probably like minus 500 or something like that, right? Or uh, to make the playoffs. Two make the playoffs would be like minus a thousand. Way more. To than not that. make the playoffs is plus like two thousand. Yeah. So, so I think so. I think you just go, go to just go to a uh, just go to a random offshore site and just look up the odds and, and then, then use that. Yeah, and then you wanted to do uh, five hundred dollars to see who makes it further, the Cardinals and the Niners. So I said, all right, if I if I have to put up five hundred, you have to put up twenty five grand. <laughs> R Ramon's just not a gambling man. <laughs> I don't think he understands. You know, that. yeah, he's. I mean, he, and he's, he's got kids. Event <laughs> eighteen years. That kid's gonna go to college. I mean, he's, he can't be. He can't be making plays like that. All right, next. Yeah, I think I've seen that. The LeBron playing high school football. I want to say I saw last box, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, here we go. I want to say I saw some video of. I think it was Michael Vick, maybe playing basketball, or maybe it was the other way around. It was maybe a basketball player who was. Maybe it was Allen Iverson playing football. Something like that. And it was amazing. But obviously, it's high school football. It's always fun to think, hey, what if, if, if they didn't go with their chosen profession? Deep pass by Dak Prescott. Caught. Ooh, no, not caught. Bounce out of the arms of whoever number 13 is on the Cowboys and almost bounce in the hands of another, uh, of a charger. Could have been an end zone interception, which is always the worst. Really, Tracy McGrady swears his best sport was baseball. I think uh, American soccer fans like myself always think about, oh man, what if, you know, what if LeBron was played soccer? What if our best athletes in the in football, baseball, and basketball ended up playing soccer instead? Would we be a powerhouse nation? Probably yes. If Chad Ochocinco, who's also who's pretty good at soccer, if Chad Ochocinco ended up being you know, a winger instead of a wide receiver. If Kobe Bryant, you know, also also good at soccer. You know, if he played soccer instead of basketball, I mean, there's all sorts of scenarios there. We got Elvis Andrus, White Sox to 299. 
Roy Campanella, 1951 NL Most Valuable Player. Didn't, didn't Glavin get drafted by the Kings? Right. Not many. I mean, you're not telling me Grizzly Bees, right? Obviously. That'd be like telling me that Matthew Stafford and Clayton Kershaw went to high school together. Sounds like a lot of Cowboys fans in at SoFi in LA. Dickerson, we got Garrett Hill to 2023 for the Tigers. Yeah, Elway was a Yankee. That we know. Um, who has the rights to Russell Wilson? Russell Wilson played played some baseball. He's appeared at some spring trainings here and there for some teams. Oh, fourth and one for the. Uh, For the Cowboys, I think they got it. Or maybe not. Oh, maybe they didn't get it. This, not everyone, not every team can do the brotherly shove. Wow, turnover on downs. And we got some veteran combos, Luis Arias and Pablo Lopez to 99. That'll be part of the left-right randomizer. And I'm gonna do later, Kyle Schorber has a solo shot today in game one of the NLCS. Let's check in on that game. Diamondbacks at Phillies. So this is gonna be for Mark and Philadelphia. And Phillies are up 4 nothing. And they're in the top of the fifth. Ooh, another heavy lumber card coming up. We saw one in the first case. Which was a nice one. And heavy lumber, Nolan Gorman. Nice, that's gonna be four for Angel and the St. Louis Cardinals. Very nice. We'll show you the other one in the recap too. Did you know that There She Goes by The Laws is a real song? Wait, what? There She Goes by The Laws, you know? There yeah. She Goes, There She Goes. Again. Yeah, it's a real song. Oh, a real song. Yeah, I think a, I thought it was like a fake song. Like it was like a jingle? Yeah, like a song that they made like no. just for movies. No. Like a royalty-free song. No. Here's a Daryl Strawberry, the straw man autograph. Baltimore picked Russell Wilson? The Orioles did? 
But I think his his has, has his player rights since been trans. I think for us, I thought he was not the rights to him were. I mean, he might be a free agent technically. Might not. Well, he might. Some spring training stuff with like a couple different teams. Yeah, I forgot what teams he did spring training with. He's got like a tops card. Somewhere, yeah, he does. There it is. Rockies. Right. So I guess. Yeah, he was selected by the Orioles. But he oh he went to college instead. Yeah, I thought. So then he was drafted by the Rockies, right? Yeah. Right. So yeah, I knew it wasn't the Orioles. <laughs> the 2013 one's so funny. But yeah, but the 2010 Wilson was drafted by the Rockies in the fourth round of the 2010 draft. And then yeah, he actually played 32 games as a second baseman in in short Class A short season. Two home runs, 11 RBIs, a 230 batting average. In 2011, he played another little short season with the Rockies. And then he was traded to the Rangers. That's right. Yeah, but he was traded to the Rangers like. And then traded after, from the Rangers after to. He was like an NFL kid. Yeah. Like, I'm a guy. And then now. in 2018, he was drafted, traded from the Rangers to the Yankees <laughs> and assigned to their double A affiliate. On March, yeah, he actually did spring training with them in 2018. So I think the. I, I, don't, think I don't know how. I don't, yeah, I don't know how these contracts work, but I'm pretty sure. He's either, his rights are still owned by, probably still owned by the Yankees. Because he doesn't have Major League Service time or anything like that. Do they pay him like a dollar? Like Do they pay him a dollar? Something like that, right? Like he can't, give, he can't get that much money from them. Here. No, I mean, he gets uh, probably the, the, the minimum for a minor league contract if he was signed to a team. And I would assume it like goes to his chair. Like sure, sure. I'm, 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 I don't, chair. yeah, I don't think he's pocketing the... What if he is that? I mean, I mean, I'll take an extra like yeah. fifteen thousand dollars. I mean, it's like all right. Money. I guess Russ. I mean, <laughs> maybe charity is nice. He needs to make those sandwiches, you know. Yeah, you know, write those off. You Danger can, Russ you can, sandwich. Remember how they canceled that sandwich after like a, a week? Well, when you're bad, you don't get sandwiches anymore. Yeah, you don't get sandwiches. Steph Curry sandwich. You know, Patrick Mahomes sandwich. Legends of the game sandwich. You don't get a you don't get a sandwich when you're like. Oh, on he, one of those. Like, he saw doesn't get a sandwich. Sorry. No sandwich they, they gave they, they gave Trevor Lawrence and Justin Herbert a sandwich though. That's fine. But I think that might be predicting future value. They don't they don't give Mike White a sandwich, you know. Right. They don't. I mean, she doesn't get a sandwich. They don't give they don't give Phillies catcher Garrett Stubbs to 2023 a sandwich. He doesn't get a Subway sandwich. But that will go to Mark, who has the Phillies. Mark? You do get a sandwich. Mark gets, Mark gets, Mark deserves a sandwich. Kodai Senga. There's a Nolan Jones 88 card. Got a Gavin Stone 2023 for the Dodgers. Oh, Luis Castillo look different. No, that's just his All Star card, right? And we made it. That's that, my friends. Two silver packs, left, right randomizer, MLB playoff promo spot randomizer. And then we are done. And an autograph, nice. Andres Jimenez. And the final card of the break, 
in the final silver pack, Andres Jimenez autograph. That's for Mark and the Cleveland Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. 14 out of 50 on that one. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. We'll do a recap after the randomizers. So let's flip back to some blank dice. There's the left-right randomizer, and then everybody gets a shot at the MLB playoff spot possibilities. One dice roll for both lists. It's gonna be five and a one, six times. It's one, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. Left side gets them after six. So flip screens here. So all of these cards that you saw um, per the back of the card, left side teams will be getting those. All right, congrats left side. All right, now two MLB playoff promo spots being given away after five and a one, six times. Good luck, top two after six. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Fingers crossed, good luck everybody. And, oh, Travis very close, but just not quite. But appreciate three through 30. Appreciate all of you getting in, thank you. Top two, happy times for you. You're in the promo, Mark is in the promo, Dan is in the promo. Congrats to the both of you after six. Now a quick little recap of autos and relics. Pretty solid break. Joey Weimer, Bobby Miller. I thought that was a short print, it's not. Matthew Libertor. Edward Julian, Tanner Beebe, Relics, Ezekiel Tovar, Sam Haggerty, that was a super short print, Corbin Carroll Relic, that Michael Harris was numbered 75, James Altman autograph, Philly scoring another run, Nick Prado, the Matt McLean Silver, Mason Miller, Logan Allen. We had a nice heavy lumber Josh Young. We had a nice Corbin Carroll autograph, Action Stars autograph to 25, and another heavy lumber Nolan Gorman. Really nice stuff here. Thanks everybody for getting in. A long break, but a lot of fun stuff here. Appreciate everybody hanging out with me. Appreciate everybody getting into the break. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.